Well, shock is uh, one reaction to the violent and racist uh, messages which were scrawled on a bathroom wall here. They are disturbing, a word of caution, as is the allegation that the school district hasn't done enough about it and, in fact, wants it to all go away. The violent anti-black messages were scrawled with a marker inside a boy's restroom, cleaned up, and then it all happened again three days later. My reaction was shock just shock i couldn't believe what i was looking at now the disturbing photos of the racist vandalism sent to us by retired educator linda george she says the whistleblowers who sent them to her want to remain anonymous as they fear retaliation it's a simple fix you put cameras at the doorway of the bathroom right you know who's going in the bathroom you sent out a, a communication to the parents. You have a school-wide assembly and discuss this, letting the kids know this is an example. None of that's happened. None of that's happened. The racist vandalism happened inside Fireball High last month, one of three high schools in a district of some 13,000 in Linwood. The district, more than 90% Latino, less than 5% African American, an even smaller number at this particular school. When I first saw it, it like made me feel like I no, I don't know if I felt unsafe, but like I, I kind of felt like, like wow, I never like expected that at this school. It's stupid. Like that's childish at this point. We're already in high school. Well, the district conducted its own investigation. Have not yet determined who did this. They also filed a felony vandalism report with the sheriff's department. So far, no progress to report on their investigation. A statement written by a public relations agency and attributed to the superintendent read in part, Linwood Unified School District is committed to equality for all students and employees and prohibits any form of racism, discrimination and bullying on our campuses to ensure a safe and inclusive environment for all. These incidents not brand new in Linwood. Years ago, the uh, district created an equity department to make sure uh, that everyone understood their priorities when it comes to racial equity. Uh, Linda George, for one, says that department really has not accomplished much as evidence by what we saw happen here last month. And students, uh, Alex and Christine, do tell me that now the procedure for using the restroom has changed to keep track of who's coming and going. Students have to sign in and out. Live in Linwood, I'm Phil Schumann, Fox 11 News.